Although the United States has not yet given the Ukraine its renowned warthog, an infantry officer is preparing for that possibility. An enterprising Ukrainian infantryman, according to a Time magazine feature, was able to crowdfund the construction of a top-secret A-10 Warthog simulation training facility. Since the commencement of the nation's battle with Russia, the legendary attack plane has been a sought-after aircraft by the Ukrainian military, and the construction of this new base only serves to highlight their eagerness to acquire Western combat jets of any sort. Alexander Gorgon, 46, a low-level infantry officer in the Ukrainian military with high-level connections, and the instigator of the grassroots A-10 training center initiative, was the subject of a time interview for the piece. Gorgon emphasizes the constant shelling that the Russians have used on Ukrainian forces throughout the conflict, arguing that the attacks could be more successfully repelled if the Ukrainian forces had the necessary air assistance. Gorgon is convinced that the Warthog is the best aircraft for the task, and although though the United States has been hesitating to deliver them to Ukraine because to recent opposition from some Ukrainians, he was prepared to start acting alone. According to Time, Gorgon's epiphany occurred in March while he was imprisoned in a trench in Kyiv and subjected to a bombardment of Russian artillery fire. The only thing on his mind, he remembered, was how relieved it would be to hear that an A-10 was on its way to put an end to the attack, which had now imprisoned him underground in the capital of his native nation. Gorgon then made the decision to dedicate the following six months to working with American and Ukrainian A-10 pilots in whatever capacity the war would permit in order to both lobby the U.S. for the donation of A-10s and to set up the training facilities required to equip Ukrainian pilots for their potential delivery. Ukrainian pilots have been utilizing the facility for training since it opened in early May. Time was given access to the A-10 simulation center after consenting to be blindfolded during the journey there and back, and it was there that it noted the presence of sophisticated flight simulators that had been built using off-the-shelf components and guidance from retired U.S. military officials, and inspired by open-source YouTube videos of U.S. military trainers in action. The building currently stands as yet another illustration of Ukrainian creativity and need-driven fundraising at its best. Hope you guys love the video. Don't forget to hit the like button and please do subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to all. So you can get the notification on each upload.